This is a quick tutorial about lettering. Here are a few different styles of lettering that we're going to experiment with. Here I'm just using a straight edge, a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use anything that has a straight edge to it. You want to draw a nice straight line for the top and bottom of where your letters are going to go. For this experiment, I'm just using the top and bottom of the ruler and marking out several different areas so I can experiment with different styles of lettering. Here I'm just going to go back and put a line to the center of my first one. That will help me with any lowercase letters I want to make. So having a line where the tops of your letters are going to go is really important in lettering. Next, I'm just lightly writing my name as neatly as possible. And I'm also leaving extra room, extra spaces in between my letters. And again, I'm writing as lightly as possible so that it will be easier to erase it later on when I'm finished my lettering. Once I finish writing my letter lightly, I'm going to go back and go around it on the sides, but stay on my line on the top and bottom. This will create a block letter. My lines are nice and straight, and I have angled corners. So again, a block letter means that my lines are nice and straight, and I have angled corners. I can also create block letters with capital letters. Again, I just want to make sure I write my letter neatly and leave a little more space than I normally would in between each letter. next letters I'm going to do the same thing I'm starting lightly as neatly as possible just writing my name and then I'm going to go around it using curved lines in the corners so again I'm going around each letter with curved lines in the corner once I draw my letters out lightly in pencil I'm going to go around it with a sharpie this is pencil ink erase so the acronym for that in art is PI. Every time we draw, we want to do PI. We want to do it in pencil, we want to go over it in ink, and then we want to erase. For this next bubble letter, I'm going to do super bubble letters. So I'm making them super big and super rounded. So I started with the same simple lightly written name and I'm making it bigger and I'm making my lines more curvy. After I draw them out, I can put little highlights that will really make them look like bubbles or more three-dimensional. And then for my last try, I'm going to work on graffiti style letters. Graffiti style letters have a lot to do with how the letters relate or interact with each other. So I'm just making curves, I'm making my letters longer and bigger, and I'm blocking it out. And then I'm gonna to start to go around it. A lot of graffiti letters have angles and curves and arrows. So again, I'm just making choices about where to put a curve, where to put an angle, and where to put an arrow. If 
I want my letter to look three-dimensional, I can just make a little angle tick at the corner on one side of each letter and then connect those together with a line. If I shade them in, it starts to make my letter look like a form, so it's three-dimensional. And there you have it, different ways to letter, different styles of lettering. You can try mine and then you can invent your own.